Yo, what's going on guys? I'm doing a little quick video if it sounds a little funky. I'm at my mother's house back here in Maryland. I'm like visiting for the weekend, so just using what I got in front of me. So let's get into it today. Shout out the graphic from NBA.com. Look, the finalists for the MVP awards have been announced and we have seen Nicole Jokic, Steph Curry, and Joel Embiid announced as the finalists. And obviously, I want to hear your opinions right now down below in the comments section. Who do you think is going to win the MVP race? My money's on Nikola Jokic. So when you're coming up, hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. And let's get right into it. Look, I think Embiid's the least likely to win it just because, look, Embiid had a great season, but he played 51 games. And if, I mean, that's still, he still played. He came back from the injury quicker. But Nikola Jokic played all 72 games. He basically almost averaged a triple-double. He is the best offensive center of all time. And I say that without. What's more impressive is Steph Curry at 33 years old was the league-leading scorer with 32 points a game, shooting almost 50% from the field and 42% from three, and grabbing about six rebounds and dishing out six assists a game. Showing that, really, and he wielded his team to the play-in tournament and he has a possibility you know obviously to continue to be in the like to go into the playoffs to be the eighth seed if they can beat the grizzlies which i do think they'll beat the grizzlies but this award is not for the playoffs that doesn't matter it's for the regular season and i think the best player in the regular season was nicole Jokic. this team was able to finish as a top three seed even though they had an injury to their star player jamal murray and I think what they've been able to do is, n like, nothing short but fantastic. And I just actually found this out. Nikola Jokic has the same birthday as my father. So, shout out Aldo and Nikola Jokic for both being born on February. Actually, also my friend Jordan has the same birthday as them. So, And my, my sister's friend Allie. So, like, four motherfuckers born on uh, February 19th. That's pretty cool. Joel Embiid, though, he really put it together this year. 51 games, he had he's 28 points per game, which, crazy enough, in 2018, in only his third season, he had almost the same numbers, but it's really like the true shooting is through the roof. He shot 37%, basically 38% from three, 51% from the field, grabbing almost 11 boards, three assists, a steal, a block, a game. He really was just all over. And this team, I think the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be the team out of the East. While Steph Curry, I think, is going to, if they do make it to the eighth seed, they're going to lose to the Jazz in the first round. Nikola Jokic, now, this is going to be an interesting one. See, the Denver Nuggets are a team that, do I think they can win in a championship? Yes, but a lot of things have to go their way. And that means a lot of players have to step up and put their big boy pants on and do big boy things. Do I think the Denver Nuggets have players that can do big boy things? Obviously, Aaron Gordon, Nikola Jokic, you got Facundo Capazzo, Michael Porter Jr. Great team. But the Denver Nuggets are facing the Portland Trailblazers and Damian Lillard is going to make this interesting. Do I think the Denver Nuggets win it? Yes, of course. Of course. I'm not counting out a team that's being led by the NBA MVP, Nikola Jokic. So right there, right now, I want to hear again. Do you think Nikola Jokic is going to win it? Or who do you have your money? Joel? Steph Curry? Let's hear those comments down below. But basically, I think what Nikola Jokic cemented was the fact that, first off, for a part of the season, he was actually averaging a triple-double. But to have his team finish as a top three seed with his starting point guard suffering a season ending injury, being able to shoot 57% from the field, 30 almost 39% from three, grabbing 11 boards, dishing out eight and a half assists, 1.3 steals, and almost a block game with 27 points per night is phenomenal for a guy who just last year was just averaging 19.9 points and shooting 31% from three. Yes, he shot 39% in his third season, but it's just the steady growth of the Serbian man, Nikola Jokic, the man who used to drink, what was it, a liter of Coke every single day. And I think it's pretty cool that our man, Nikola Jokic, who played for Mega Basketball, was the 41st pick overall in 2014, just has become a menace. And it's been since his rookie year that... I think he just took over and made the league be put on notice and well deserved for the Serbian to win this. So yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Um, it's 148.
probably make five more videos. But yeah, suck my nuts.